What's up wrestling card collectors? Tom here from Collector Wrestlepalooza. Today's video is going to focus on the Circle K WWF wrestling cards. I have bought some of these cards recently in exploratory orders just to learn about them. I will be researching the cards, I will tell you about the set, and then I will show you which ones that I purchased. I believe that these cards were given away with the purchase of Coca-Cola products at Circle K establishments, but I'm not sure of that. So before I do my video, I'm going to go online and find out about these cards, and then I'll share it with you on this video in addition to showing you the cards that I purchased. Enjoy. Alright, so here are the three lots that I purchased, but before we get into the cards, let me tell you what I found when I researched these on the internet. According to WrestlingTradingCards.com, there are 20 cards in the Supermatch set, and they came out in 1987. Now, to claim a prize from the contest, you had to redeem it by July 3rd, 1987, again, according to WrestlingTradingCards.com, which leads me to believe that the cards were introduced in the spring or early summer of that year. Superstars depicted include Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, Hart Foundation, and other prominent wrestlers of the era. Think 1987 tops, because those were released in the same year. And this led me to consider which superstars had rookies in 1987. The Honky Tonk Man debuted in the WWF at the end of 1986, so this card would have essentially been one of his rookies. Uh, I'm not sure if I bought any honkies in any three of my lots, but we'll find out in a minute here. And this also would have been an early card of the Hart Foundation. 87 Tops Brett is of course considered his rookie. I'm not sure which was re released first, whether the Tops or the Circle K were released first. Uh, if you do know the answer to that, please leave me a comment. That would be very helpful. And again, I'm not sure if I bought any Hart Foundations in any of my three lots here. Uh, this also would have been the first card of the Can-Am Connection, which was one of the 20 cards in the set. And that's the high-flying tag team of Rick Martel and Tom Zenk, so if I come across any of those, I know that it's the first card of that tag team. Now, the cards were co-sponsored by Coca-Cola uh, and featured in the scratch-off game, as I mentioned before, but I could not find any information as to how the game worked or how you won it. Again, if you know, please leave a comment to help me out. So let's go through the cards that I purchased. Again, as I mentioned, I bought three lots of these. Cost average of a few dollars a card. I didn't spend too much on them. This first set here, I remember the fronts looked really good, but the backs had some staining on them. So again, this was an exploratory order just to see what the cards were about. I bought a Billy Jack Haynes, superstar of the era that doesn't have too many cards. got an awesome Jake Roberts card here. I mean, look at that. What a cool depiction of Jake Roberts. Actually, these are in not too bad shape on the back, although the corners are beat up. Maybe it was a different lot that had the water stains on the back. Nice hacksaw here. And immediately I can also tell the hacksaw and the uh, Ricky the Dragon are different widths. So. I assume the quality control of how these were cut in the factory, I'm sure, uh, varied. Uh, they, I don't think they were meant to be collected. Of course, they were meant just to be a scratch-off game. You can see the water staining there. And then finally, like I said, a nice Ricky the Dragon steamboat. Moving on to the next lot here. If you have cards in excellent condition. They're probably going to command a premium. We've got another JYD. Actually, I should say that's my first JYD, but another Jake the Snake. And then a really nice card of the British Bulldogs. Really like that picture of them with their uh, flags on the front of their t-shirts, being very patriotic to their country. Love it. Love the Dynamite Kid. Folks that watch my channel know that I'm a big Dynamite Kid fan, despite some of the accusations of the antics of him in the locker room and that he may not have been the nicest guy in the world. Really like his dedication to the sport and like his wrestling style, so huge Dynamite Kid fan. 
Here we've got the killer bees. Not too many cards of the killer bees exist, so that's nice. And then another one of my favorites, Kamala. Everyone who watches my channel again knows it's one of my favorite superstars. And Billy Jack Haynes. Heart Foundation. And probably in pretty nice shape for one of these cards. I do see the surface has some imperfections. Of course, the corners are beat up. But I'm imagining because they were game cards, you can't really find them in good condition. Another Billy Jack. I'm wondering if Billy Jack Haynes is one of the more common cards. The George the Animal Steel. And then, of course, this Macho Man that's in pretty lousy shape, but awesome picture of Macho. And can't go wrong with any Macho Man cards. So that does it. That's the collection. Those are the ones that I purchased. I don't have any of the Hogan's or Andre's or anything like that, but wanted to see the cards, wanted to get them in my hands, take a look at them. And then of course that is a nice heart foundation and a nice macho, uh, early versions of those cards. Collect the Wrestlepalooza. Collect the Wrestlepalooza.